Welcome back explorers, I'm Alistair and this is the Highland Hikers. Thank you for joining me again today. Uh, this today is going to be quite a special day. I've got a really good feeling about this walk just now. Um, I am in Glencoe for the first time, well, first time hiking, and uh, I am going to head up the Buchelev Et of Moor today. So there's two Munros on this circuit. There's Stob Jereg and Stob Na Broigiu. And it's about 13 kilometres in length, 1,100 metres of ascent. It should take about seven to nine hours. It is quite foggy, low level just now, as I'm sure you can see around me. But just up at the top there, you can just make out the top of the first Munro and it is pretty much straight up. The, at the beginning here, there's about 700 metres of ascent up to the top here. So if that's not something that you feel like doing, then be sure to watch the rest of this video so you can see what you're missing out on. The weather today says it's going to be a low level cloud inversion. It is very early in the morning. I camped at the bottom, first use of my tent. Um, and I'm heading up here um, pretty much as quickly as I can to see what the views are like uh, above the, the clouds today. Just making my way up towards the Bielach and have come out of the shade into the sun and the humidity level just like oh, the heat just flew oh, up massively there. It is going to be a warm one today. It's not even seven o'clock in the morning and it's well into double figures. So I have just made it to the top of the main ascent up to the first Bielach and you're greeted with this spectacular view behind me. That is not the second Munro. That, believe it or not, is a Munro top. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you do have to wonder um, why that's not a Munro and other ones are. So then that looks like a fair bit of ascent. I'm sure it's something like about 150 metres of prominence up to there from the, the kind of shorter side, which is on this side. But from here, I'm heading up to the, this side here, up to the top of the first Munro, which shouldn't take me too long, but fortunately I'm gonna be walking straight into the sun. Behind the camera, just massive vista, just of these mountain peaks, just breaking through the clouds. We've got Nevis really close to us, and a few other ones. It's just absolutely beautiful today.
So I have made it to the top of the first Munro, uh, Stob Dereg, at a height of 1,021 metres. Absolutely blinded by the sun up here. This is the taller of the two Munros today, although, as I said, we've also got that Munro top, which you can just see behind me as well, uh, to go over to get to the other one as well. But the views are absolutely amazing up here, absolutely fantastic. Uh, you can see far and wide. The cloud, whilst it's not an inversion, the clouds are below the, the uh, summit, so we've got lots of uh, peaks just popping out, uh, which makes it yeah, just that wee bit extra special. Uh, just to be of note, the summit for this on the OS map is this point behind me. It's not the furthest point along the ridge. There is a path off to that bit, and there is a, a larger cairn there, but According to the West Maps, this is the summit, so make sure you touch this in the way past before you head over there as well. That is a lot of up and a lot of down just for a Munro top. How is that not a Munro? So this has meant to be a lovely ridge walk along to the second Munro, but the cloud has come in. I've got a feeling it's going to break. I can start to see a wee bit more up ahead just now. But uh, oh, seems a shame to have come all this way and got a stunning view at the first one, and then not to get anything at the second, but we are nearly there. So that is the summit of Astob Nabroigu and unfortunately the cloud hasn't cleared, it's still blown over very very quickly. You get brief glimpses of the, the other side of the glen but uh, you can't see anything down into Glen Etive and nothing further afield so I'm going to sit for a wee bit, have some lunch and see if it clears. Fingers crossed it does but from here, I'm basically retracing my steps. I don't have to go back over that Monroe top, fortunately, but there's a very steep descent into the glen, and then it's back up towards the A82, where they've then got about a kilometre of walking along the side of that till we get back to the start, unfortunately. But uh, it's still been an absolutely beautiful day. Just a wee bit of a shame, I haven't got the view at the second top, but no doubt it will clear once I'm about <laughs> a mile away.
and that is the buckle. What a day it has been. I really hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making this. It has been a fantastic day. And on that note, we shall see you on another hike.